Hello, Ojambo, as we say here in Kenya. Thank you for letting me address this important meeting on what we need to do to keep our commitments to the Minamata Convention. In particular, please allow me to acknowledge with thanks the support of David Kampentula of Zambia and Nina Kromnier of Sweden and many, many other people present at this event. Rimiko Yoshinaga, she is from Minamata in Japan, the site of one of the world's worst environment disasters. She travels around the world telling the story of the devastating impacts mercury poisoning has had on her family. Last year I myself visited Minamata, spoke to so many of the victims of the Minamata poisoning and also saw how Minamata has turned this tragedy, this enormous tragedy of the people of Minamata into victory, into making Minamata a symbol not of the past of the tragedy, but a symbol of the change, being spearheading uh, the global campaign of making Mercury history. So let's pay tribute to the real brave people of Minamata, Japan. And we have indeed come a long way since the Minamata tragedy. We've enacted a global multilateral agreement, but mercury is far more pervasive than most people realize. There's no safe level of exposure. But what we do know is that everyone is at risk when mercury is released without safeguards. And the children are most vulnerable. When I was Environment Minister of Norway, we were the first in the world to announce measures uh, uh, to end mercury in dental amalgam. We prohibited amalgam and there are very, very few of the decisions I made which I get so much positive feedback. Dentists, dentist assistants and a lot of people, men and women, who said that this was such a right thing to do because uh, mercury had been a problem in their life and they didn't want that to be harming future generations. So there was a lot of positive feedback and we need to take this global now. Many countries need to take important steps like we did in Norway. The dental profession must lead this move away from mercury and amalgam. I'm delighted that so many of you are here from around the world to put this great task on the table. Because this is an opportunity to develop new technologies and products for better and safer dental care. In the Montreal Protocol for Prote Protecting the Ozone Layer, that was the model environmental agreement for the 20th century. But let's make Minamata Convention of a model for the 21st century. Let's make mercury history. Let's safeguard people and the planet. Good luck to you all.